Welcome to the 2017 National Healthcare Safety Network NHSN Quick Learn Series. These are brief and informative presentations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They serve as an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare associated infections, or HAIs. This Quick Learn is for NHSN users who need to analyze data in the patient safety component. This Quick Learn will also help NHSN users reconcile the differences between the number of procedures entered into NHSN and the number of procedures in the CMS SSI SIR reports that reflect what data will be sent to CMS on behalf of the facility. Let's take a look at an example. It is November 2017, and so far, your facility has reported 491 colo and 27 hist procedures during the calendar year in NHSN for the Surgical Site Infections, SSI, HAI module. You have been tasked to verify that all of your 2017 SSI data have been entered correctly. You notice that your CMS SSI SIR report shows fewer procedures than you reported. Your CMS SSI complex 30 day model shows 481 colo and 15 HIST procedures. This is clearly not what you entered. Let's examine how to troubleshoot your SSI SIR. Before running any reports in NHSN, it is good practice to generate new datasets. Generating new datasets ensures that your reports include the most up-to-date data. As a reminder, click Analysis, then select Generate Datasets. In the next few slides, we will briefly go through how to create a line list to obtain a quarterly report containing all the COLO and HIST procedures entered into NHSN in 2017. The first step to examine how to troubleshoot your SSI SIR is to create a line list to see all the SSI procedures entered into NHSN. To view all SSI COLO and HIST procedures entered in 2017, navigate to the Advanced folder at the bottom of the screen, open the Procedure Level Data folder, and right-click on the line listing All Procedures Report. Select Modify Report to customize the line list. In the Modification screen, the default format output is HTML. As a result, the output report will open in a second browser window. On the Title Format tab, you can change the output format to display the output using PDF, Excel, or rich text format. In the Modification screen, select the Time Period tab to view all the procedures entered in 2017. You will notice that there are four procedure time variables. Select Procedure Year Quarter to be able to view all the procedures by quarter. Remember, select the Show Descriptive Variable Names box to see more descriptive variable labels. To view all COLO and HIS procedures entered in the Filters tab, Filter your report by procedure code. You will need to add two rules, one for procedure code equal to colo, colon surgery, and the other for procedure code equal to hist, abdominal hysterectomy. Change the and or button from and to or in order to see both colo and hist procedures. Instead of adding a rule, you can also use the IN option to filter by multiple variables. Click Run to obtain your line listing report. This report includes all the COLO and HIST procedures entered in 2017 by quarter. In the next four slides, we will briefly go through how to make a frequency table to get a summary count of your COLO and HIST procedures. Now that you have a line list report of all the procedures, you would also like to get a count of all the COLO and HIST procedures entered. Therefore, you decide to make a frequency table. 
In the same Advanced folder, select Frequency Table, All Procedures. Right-click on Frequency Table, All Procedures, and select Modify Report. You will be utilizing the same filters you used in the line list you just prepared. Restrict your frequency table by procedures entered in 2017 by filtering your report by time period. As a reminder, clicking the Show Descriptive Variable Names box will give you more descriptive labels. Filter the frequency table by procedure code COLO and HIST. Remember to select OR to be able to see both COLO and HIST procedures. Select Run to see your frequency table. There are 491 COLO procedures and 27 HIST procedures. Remember in the CMS, SSI, SIR reports, there were 481 COLO and 15 HIST procedures. Therefore, there were 10 COLO procedures and 12 HIST procedures excluded from your CMS, SSI, SIR calculations. We will now review the steps for determining the excluded procedures in the complex 30-day SSI-SIR model. NHSN makes it easy for you to identify the procedures excluded from the SIR calculations. Navigate to the Procedure Associated Module folder in the Analysis screen. Open the SSI folder. At the bottom of the SSI folder, Right-click on the line listing, Procedures Excluded, from SIR Report in the pop-up panel and select Modify Report. This list includes all SSI procedures excluded from every SSI SIR model. You would like to see only the procedures excluded from the complex 30-day SSI SIR model. As mentioned earlier, we will begin the modification process by filtering our report by time period. Restrict your report by procedures excluded in 2017. To see the COLO and HIST procedures excluded from the complex 30-day SIR model, go to the Filters tab. Add a group to filter by procedure codes COLO and HIST. In the second group, remember to select OR to be able to view both COLO and HIST procedures. You can further edit your report by using the Display Variables tab. Here, you might want to add or remove variables. Since you only would like to see procedures that were excluded from the complex 30-day SSI-SIR model, you can remove the variables that indicate exclusion from other SSI-SIR models. To remove variables, you will need to select the variables from the Selected Variables box and use the second selected button to move them to the Available Variables box. You are now ready to run your report. Notice that the COLO HIST excluded from the complex 30-day model and excluded procedure variables are equivalent. These variables identify which procedures were excluded from the complex 30-day SSI-SIR model. The excluded from SSI-SIR variable column indicates which SSI procedures were linked to an SSI event. If no SSI events were linked to an SSI procedure, this variable will be noted as Y. Variables preceded by EXCL indicate the reason for exclusion. If EXCL criterion is set to Y, then the procedure is excluded for the denominator of the related SIR. To be able to get a summary count of all the procedures excluded from the CMS Complex 30-Day SIR model, you will need to export your report into another statistical software or format. To export your report, go back to your modification screen and select Export. Use the radio button Export Analysis Data Set using modifications to export the report with the modifications you set. Excel was used to calculate a summary count of excluded COLO and HIST procedures. 
There were 10 colo and 12 HIST procedures excluded from the complex 30-day SSI-SIR model. For additional training and guidance for analyzing and interpreting your NHSN patient safety component data, please visit the resources listed on this screen. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the NHSN Help Desk at nhsn at cdc.gov.